awaits the 2-2 pitch, and it goes to the backstop. Here comes the runner, and the toss to the plate is there. What a play by Michaela Picard. What a play, getting to the backstop. Accurate flip right on the money to Logan Black, and she lays the tag down, just waiting for the foot of Jenna Foreman at the plate. Spectacular early defense for the Blue Jays to rally back after a couple of miscues early on. We mentioned this yesterday, Jake. The backstop here is pretty shallow, and it's not a given that a runner can score from third when a ball gets away. Walk in an error, correct? As she had a sacrifice bunt in an error. So there's a good bunt by Foster. Tricky play, but a good throw. And then a throw to third, and Cantu is safe. Lucky to get back over running the base, just that momentum carrying her over. Uh, aggressive base running by Ashley Cantu going first to third on that sacrifice bunt. Good heads up by Butler. They almost had her. Likely going to catch those top two. So those other teams in front of them, Providence, Seton Hall, those, those are the teams that need to lose. Villanova's up there as well. Bring them down to their level. Matty Christensen struck out on an off speed. First strikeout for Laura Rucker. Wise, but it's not been there a it is. beautiful first few innings for Creighton, but there's a, a good second out. Is there days? I don't know. I would hope so, especially on a beautiful day like this when you've got folks on campus. That is just outside. Cantu reaches base for a sixth consecutive time. That flight scope really is impressed by the dog's movement. <laughs> As there's a swinging strike three. Rucker comes up without number two. It's eight nothing in the fourth end games now. The specialization in baseball is this is put in play toward third. Kelly Fine into a tough play. Had to make the barehanded pickup on a tricky bounce and throws out Thompson to end the inning. Inning, but she stranded them both. Six strikeouts now. Picard gets into one towards right center, but a diving catch by Alyssa Garcia. And Butler can do no wrong this afternoon in Omaha. Alyssa Garcia, who played a fine center field yesterday, makes her finest play of the weekend. Laying out in the gap, taking extra bases away from Picard. And the payoff pitch toward third. Candotti in time, and that's the ball game. Very good. With three in the first, five in the second, and they cruise behind Alyssa Graves, who spins a one hitter over five innings today. Uh, Jake, just not a great day at the office for this Creighton club. No, especially against Alyssa Graves. 17 strikeouts over a pair of games this weekend, and she didn't get the run support yesterday. She got it today, and she cruised. Creighton, the batters looked a bit lost. So, Butler with the 8-0 victory as we wrap up on a beautiful Saturday afternoon from the Creighton.